Welcome to this camera control tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you through the supported features and how to operate it. In the latest firmware update, Cineview M7 series were given Sony camera control capability, free of charge and no license required. And it's very easy. All you need is an additional Type-C to Type-C USB cable to connect your M7 monitors to your camera. For now, the Sony camera control feature on the M7 series supports FX3, FX30, A7 C Mark II, A7 S Mark III, A7 Mark IV, and A9 Mark III. Now, let's take a look at the supported features. The current Sony camera controls support three features. Changing essential imaging parameters, optional synchronized recording, and touch focus control. Now, let's dive into it. To take full advantage of a camera control feature, you need to enable it in the product feature setting. Tap on the top status bar, scroll to the right and find the camera control option. Enable this feature and you'll find the new controls on the right. These three buttons are camera status bar switch, camera record trigger and touch focus control. Tap on the first button and you'll find the top status bar is now changed to camera controls. Here you can tap to change the shutter speed, ISO, aperture and white balance, including presets and custom temperatures. Now, we can try out the record trigger. Once you press it, it will set the camera to recording mode. And press again to stop. In the camera control settings, there's an option to turn on synchronized recording. Once turned on, your M7 will record along with your camera. And this synchronized recording works by direction mode. Let's take a look at the touch focus control. Once you press it, it will enter a clean focused control page, where all other UI elements are removed. All the squeezing and mirroring effects are disabled, and the only thing on the screen is a movable return button. Here, you can press wherever you want, a green square will appear beneath your finger, telling you where you're pointing. And the focus status of the camera will follow along your finger movement. The focus status on the camera's built-in monitor will be simultaneously displayed in the focus control page. But do bear in mind, when set to certain focus modes, the camera might not be reporting back its focus status but the touch focus still works. In the settings, there's an option to turn on half press shutter button. This can help forcing the camera to shift focus, improving the focus experience in certain camera modes or when using certain adapted lenses. And that's it for the camera control feature. But before we end the tutorial right here, I think it's best we walk through the troubleshoots. First, when you're connecting your camera to your M7, there should be a system prompt asking if you'd like to connect to external device. Definitely press yes. If there's no prompt showing up, check your USB cables. Make sure it's data carrying capable instead of a cheap charging only one. Also, check the USB port on M7 and your camera. Make sure they're all clean and operating properly. And on the camera side, make sure to turn off the USB powering option and set the USB mode to remote shooting. With these two options set the wrong ones, camera control feature will not function properly. Cineview M7 series camera control update is available for both Cineview M7 and M7 Pro, giving you smooth, responsive and intuitive camera control on an already well-established monitoring experience, with further optimization and updates to be included in future updates. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.